Okay, as some of you might have noticed, I have been away for a little while. I had open heart surgery that, let's just say, I really didn't plan on. Some of you were stunned as I was. Al in Brooklyn writes, Cavuto has a heart? Brooke emails, I thought Fox people had their hearts surgically removed. (laughs) Oh, Brooke. Back to CNN. Bill in San Francisco writes, frankly, I was surprised all this time. I thought you were a robot. Keith in New Rochelle, New York. So much for those processed meats and cheeses, Cavuto. Well, not so fast, Keith, not so fast. Eleanor in New Orleans, my husband and I were worried. When we weren't seeing you on TV, we feared Bill O'Reilly had murdered you. (laughs) Kip via MSN, I always suspected those CNBC guys were force feeding you yodels in the hope that you would croak. Not you, Cavuto, you showed him. And how? (laughs) Tip via Yahoo, how did your heart surgeon break it to you that your junk food days were over? First tip, by ripping open my chest and telling me later, Neil, do you really want to do this again? Ellen in Olean, New York, please tell me your doctor wasn't a CNN fan. Well, frankly, Ellen, I don't know what my doctor's news preferences were or are. Here is all I do know. S. Jacob Scheinerman saved my life. I am alive and talking to you right now because this chairman of cardiothoracic surgery at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital and his incredible team refused to have it any other way. He had no control over my looks, though, right after surgery. Anyway, (laughs) CNN, CNBC, you can blame Dr. Scheinerman if you are not happy seeing me here. You can blame his around-the-clock professionalism and calling at all hours to make sure each day I was progressing. You can blame His surgeon skills working around my slightly bulky frame. You can blame his impossibly upbeat and professional staff of nurses and associates who refuse to let their long hours and physically exhausting schedules ever, ever dampen their spirits. Blame the Shinerman team for returning the Cavuto team to save America. All right. You, you, you think about that, Dr. Scheinerman, wherever you are. Well, anyway, I, I think you folks have gotten to know me pretty well as a reporter. I try to do my due diligence. I do my homework. I do my research. And once faced with the scary news that I was going to need open heart surgery, I pulled out all the stops to find the best doctor I could. Now, as some of you know, when it comes to this sort of thing, I'm kind of a big deal. I know people who know people. And those people who know all seem to know Jacob Scheinerman. And now I understand why. Not only because he saved my life, but the countless other lives for whom he and his Lenox Hill team have provided another chance, another shot, another opportunity, another moment with families who feared the worst and rival news networks who might have hoped for it. I joke. But to make the point that I'm here, I'm here with you right now, sort of like that Alexander Hamilton character in the Broadway show who just screams, I'm not going to miss my shot. Look at me. I'm not missing my shot. I have another shot. And Sylvia in Grand Rapids could not be happier. Just knowing you have come through all of this is all that matters. But watch yourself, Neil. Temptations are everywhere. TN via Comcast. If Hannity offers you Napoleon, don't eat it. (laughs) Ditto Helen in St. Louis who writes, Beware of those who will tempt you, Neil. With large trays of sausage and peppers, you don't strike me as a a one-link-at-a-time guy. Oh, really, Helen? And you would know this how. (laughs) Then there's Wolf via SBC. Me and my buddies are already taking bets when you fall off the wagon and have to be rushed to emergency on a sugar eye. I say next Valentine's Day, stick a fork in you, you're done. Wolf, your last name wouldn't be Blitzer, would it? (laughs) Not on your life, pal. Kimberly and Don in Youngstown, Ohio. Neil, knowing that you've already had cancer and dealt with multiple sclerosis every day, now this, we were just wondering, are you playing the lottery these days? We suspect the odds are in your favor. Well, I have given that some thought. Then there's Don at Sioux City. Cavuto, I'm no fanny. In fact, you remind me of a kid I used to beat up in grade school. Maybe it's that smirk or snap-on fake hair, but even you deserve a break. So now and then I will hold off for a week before hitting and hating you again. Well, thank you, Don. I appreciate that. Alexander emails, look at the bright side, Cavuto. You missed all the crazy stuff going on at Fox when you were out. 
What, what, what crazy stuff, Alexander? Did I, did I miss something? Thomas in Sacramento, I am sorry to hear you're not dead. And Thomas, I am sorry to hear that you have email. Well, maybe you should act more like Lisa, who reminds me she emailed a special prayer for me each and every day I was away. Neil, you are like family, and your TV family is glad you are back. Well, thank you, Lisa. And thank all of you, the thousands of you who emailed and joked and prayed and chided many outside many in this room with me right now i'd like to personally thank each and every one of you i have to be honest there were many days i was feeling pretty sorry for myself and then i'd hear from so many of you and i would dial back on the self-pity party particularly after hearing from a woman named katie a 78 year old diehard italian chef who said, as she put it earlier this summer, she was preparing for open heart surgery herself after just losing her husband and only a month after her sister had died. She was going through all of this alone and yet she refused to feel sorry for herself or me for that matter. What struck me were her closing lines. I am just not prepared to give up, Neil, and you shouldn't be either. I heard you once say that life is short, go long. Well, it is getting shorter, so I suggest you get a hold of yourself and go even longer. So I did. And I'm happy to say that Katie did as well. She is doing just fine, and this might be the reason why. Let me quote. My doctor said I shouldn't eat as many cannolis, but he never said I shouldn't eat any cannolis. Neil, remember that. Everything in moderation. Well, noted, Katie. <laughs> And thank you. And let's just say we'll keep this between us and let's not pester Dr. Shiner. And he goes, bat, you know what, with this. Anyway, thank you all. All of you. And have a great night.